a huge rivalry game going down in Alexandria. St. Stephen's traveling to play Episcopal in a rare Friday Night Lights game. Let's pick up the action early in the first quarter. Saints quarterback Ish Seize hits his wideout on the side. A rip balance tiptoes into the end zone. Saints up 7-0. The score set off one of the craziest celebrations I've ever seen. Baby powder everywhere. It's a white Halloween in Alexandria. But Episcopal would be unfazed by the cloud and answered. Quarterback Timmy Phillips slings the ball to the outside. What a throw right into the end zone. And Episcopal's receiver fights off pass interference to make the catch. Episcopal's kicker missed the game with injury. So they went for two and took an 8-7 lead. Episcopal would strike again. This time they pound the ball into the end zone. What a move. Nigel Beckford so shifty. He had two scores on the night. This one put Episcopal up 14-7. The Maroon once again going for two. This time they get it on the nifty rollout. Now up 16 to seven. The Saints would climb back into the game and trail just 16 to 13 at halftime. But the Saints couldn't rally in the second half and fell to a pistol 22 to 19 in the IAC matchup. Here's what a pistol's Phillips had to say about the win. We uh, play under the lights every two years, and it's great to get the opportunity to play a team right across the street. I know all the guys really well, so it's great to get the win uh, with all the trash talk that goes on during the week and stuff, so it's great to get the win. What happened? It was tough. I was, I'm was i battling. I dislocated my shoulder uh, last week, so it's tough to – so they, the, the, my quarterback, uh, DH, got number six, got the reps during practice this week, so he started the game. The coach put me in, and I took advantage of my opportunity and put it up there right where he needed to get it. Here's what Nigel Beckford had to say. You know, we just had to, I know I had to get it. Uh, coach was depending on me, the whole team was depending on me, and I know I had to do what I got to do, do what i always been taught to, do what I normally do, so I came. For DCSportsFan.com, I'm Brian Kapoor.